Philosophy. Question. Enlightenment. Deep conversation. Spirituality. This is the spiritual download. This first writing is titled, The Light of Peace. Let the peaceful moments speak to you and your heart as your voice. Find your authentic self. Who are you really? Who are you deep in your heart? Trust that being who you truly are is what the universe is asking of you. This is your life's path and purpose in life. This purpose has a light, a brilliant white light. It emanates within this reality of authenticity, self-expression, and freedom to be who we are, who we truly are. This is the light of love, the light of peace, the light of being. Have the courage to live your light, live your passion, and live as your greatest self. Listen to the expansion of the sky. What does it teach? Listen to the rootedness of the earth. What does she say? Know that this is the soul of silence and stillness, the core of nature herself. The next one is titled, A River Called the Way Things Are. While I am a human, she is flowing. While I am thinking my busy thoughts, she is still flowing. After I have been, she will be flowing. She flows. That is her nature. Her water comes from the mountain high above the clouds. Land so high that most humans forget it is there. Her water is what gives her life, just like my body and my mind. We are both made up of billions of water particles. Yet, she does not consider herself superior to her water. She simply flows. And her flowing is dictated by the forces of nature, wind, gravity, temperature, plants, and animals. Perhaps this is the lesson I was meant to learn from her, to simply flow with the forces of earth and be natural, and love myself for being so natural. This is the way of life. My next writing is called Teachings from Nature. Happiness is the realization that you can live from your heart center, Have compassion for others through loving relationships and listen with your heart. We must avoid judgment of personality and shortcomings because we all have shortcomings and weaknesses. This happiness can seep into every cell in your body and soothe you like warm water on a cold winter's night. This rawness of nature carries lessons for us that humans come from nature and she is our mother. This stillness of nature can teach us to be humble by recognizing that she is greater than us, even though we are a significant part of her. However, we live in an ecosystem with other animals and plants. We breathe the same air and drink the same water as everything else on earth. Let your body and mind be transformed by these insights into nature, earth, and the way things are. These are the timeless and spaceless teachings of nature and our ancestors. At the center of all of this learning is peace and love. Love in our hearts and peace in our thoughts and actions. We must create this peaceful world through dedication to our spiritual practice and by helping others to see their inherent value in heart. Thank life herself for these truths and lessons. Live with passion and joy. My fourth and final writing is called, Love is All, All is Love. I am. I am human. I am a soul because I have a caring heart. And I am the center of that love, sharing that with others through complicated human relationships. We are spiritual beings dancing a beautiful dance called human life. It is full of randomness and confusion, but it is also purely beautiful and vivacious. It is this humanness that makes everything just that much more astounding and full of awe. Life is abundant, 
because it is constantly blooming in every moment, every breath. I and the moment of life are one. This is called I and I. I am. I am God and I am me. Me and God are one. God works through me as the character that I believe that I am. God said, I am that I am. I and God are one. Surrender to your soul's calling. Surrender all of your judgments towards others and towards yourself. Surrender the idea that you need to fight in order to survive. The universe is well-meaning. Life and the universe and humans, all of this is about thriving, abundance, and joy. Love life.